In this video, I want to talk about how to deal with hood rats and understanding the mindset of a hood rat. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because pretty soon I'm going to write a book called Understanding the Mind of a Hood Rat so you can get to know them better. Now, being a hood rat is not necessarily a bad thing. It is basically a person who is a product of their environment who essentially grew up in the hood so it doesn't mean that they're a bad person it just means they was born in an unfortunate um, situation usually in an impoverished neighborhood and that is where they get a lot of their morals and values from now you can be a rich person or a person who live in a suburb with a good job or whatever and still be considered a hood rat because it is a mentality. It is a behavior that is either ingrained in you or you don't picked up from other places. Yes, you can pick up how to be a hood rat from other places. There are many of you know people who may hang out with the ghetto chicks or the hood chick or the trailer tra trash type of um chicks and pick up that hood rap mentality from them you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna break down a little bit of it later but also understand that not only are females considered um hood rats of course you have some male hood rats and you have subcategories such as white hood rats and gay hood rats there's a relationship expert that i listened to um where well, i used to listen to his radio station back in the day but now he talk a lot about race uh, relations in america he uh, wrote a book called the art of mac and where he covered the different type of hood rats too so i'm just going to basically elaborate on those he covered it from a humorous perspective and i want to just a humorous slash realist perspective but i really want to get deep into it now one thing about hood rats is they suffer from mental imbalances okay now these mental imbalances could be innate or it could be something that was developed later on like for example many hood rats suffer from bipolar disorder they have high moods and then they go low they got high moods they go low and you know, majority of the hood rats do not understand where these feelings originate from they simply act on whatever they're feeling inside their head so many hood rats who develop some of these disorders usually develop from other hood rats who they're hanging out with that's why you always have to watch the company that you keep because whatever your friends or family do it starts to rub off on you so if you're around loud and i'm not just people who are always verbally slandering people always trying to prove a point always trying to force their philosophy that has no intellectual basis whatsoever on you you eventually going to pick up their mannerisms and start to eject that to other people in the world and that's going to become a bad thing because it's going to um do decrease your value as a person you're going to put yourself in jeopardy because when you're talking reckless to people you're burning a lot of bridges so when it comes to getting a job or getting help you know people would be less inclined to to do that simply because they don't like you see nobody really likes a hood rat and the only reason why dudes get involved with hood rats is for sexual pleasure all right sexual pleasure is the utmost the most important reason why any man or woman would deal with a hood rat because hood rat are, are spicy in the bed they have extremely i mean unique sex skills and they will basically put it on you and you know many people enjoy the easy access to a hood rat because you know hood rats ain't really doing nothing productive in life so they have all the time in the world to basically have sex or smoke marijuana and improve their physical stamina and learn how to pearl the perfect blunt and they probably know the only thing that they read is probably high time so they know about every type of weed strand there is man that's one aspect to know that you're dealing with a hood rat someone who smokes marijuana a lot now of course you can argue that marijuana has um curing properties People smoke it for medical reasons and whatever, but a hood rat smokes weed for the pleasure of it. Okay, she gets pleasure. She don't. She ain't smoking it for no medical reasons or anything like that. She's doing it because she has a substance abuse addiction problem. She's 
has an oral fixation, which you always have to have something up to a mouth. That's why many hood rats, or you know, and hood dudes, man, they always got a liquor bottle to their mouth, blunt or you know, a, um, a phallus up to their mouth because they get pleasure from putting things in their mouth. And it sort of stems from when they was babies because there's a social a sociological um, concept where children explore the world with their mouth. You may see kids always putting toys in their mouth and they never let go of that. See, many hood rats are babyfied and I cover this um, you know, extensively in the book. If it's not in the description below, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be there within a few months. Many hood rats are baby five. They have resorted back to their baby ways. You know, this is why they always value celebrities. They're always chasing their celebrity crush, even in the, at an old age, because they're holding on to that that basic idea. And many hood rats have been like molested when they were younger, so they're still stuck in an immature mindset because of that. Although they matured naturally, they're still stuck in a past kinda and wanna live during a time when bad things didn't happen. So you gotta understand, a hood rat always got bad things happening in his or her life. So they're always seeking pleasure of some kind. This is why they get involved with substance abuse or they have a lot of sexual encounters with people just to feel, you know, comfortable or valuable in their own skin. They want to they want to feel a sense of accomplishment of some type, you know. And surprisingly, speaking of accomplishment, hood rats always talk about education, always talk about bettering um, themselves, but never do. And being smart is highly valued in a hood rat community the problem is a hood rat think they know everything but never ever ever do research about anything so you will often see them push their brain forward to produce ideas and um unique thoughts and it just fall by the wayside they will watch certain movies and be like oh i know what that person is doing they're gonna do this they're gonna do that no you're wrong no 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 you're wrong and they're going to do this and they believe this stuff and they say it's so believable and then when they get proven wrong the only thing they could just sit there and stay silent and look like boo boo the fool or somebody so hood rats always want to be proven right man even when they're wrong they just ignore it and they keep on trying to push their little thomas engine that could bring to uh, forward to be an intellectual but they don't know anything man hood rats will say some of the most nonsense things in the world that makes no sense to you but it makes all the sense in the world to them and this goes back to having a mental disorder man many hood rats have personality disorders as i said when you living in an unforgiving environment where many problems are uh, pounded upon you automatically automatically you um develop like a resilience for it you know you, you you tend to fight back so anything that's the opposite of that you become like attracted to so many hood rats detach from themselves and develop multiple personalities and become other people simply because they have no intellect to truly become a different person they like the uh, fantasy of living in a a unique world temporarily but they have no motivations to change themselves permanently they love staying in the same spot you talk to a hood rat about traveling internationally the first thing that's going to pop into her mind is some stuff that she's seen on the evening news oh yeah this is going on in iraq um people getting their heads chopped off in mexico and they believe everything they see on the news i mean hood rats are so dumb man they believe everything that they read on social media too so you may put up a post about somebody a celebrity that died who didn't really die and a hood rat is not going to do any research behind that they're going to automatically believe it or let's say a celebrity did die and you break the news to a hood rat she's not going to believe you oh that person ain't dead because they didn't hear about it on the streets and that's the thing about the streets is that street dudes are not they're, they're not savvy like that okay <laughs> you know i mean i hate to say it <clears throat> There are many street dudes out there who are very intelligent, but the majority of those dudes and those hood rats out there, man, I mean, they don't even know that, you know, for example, yesterday was January 1st. 
I heard a hood dude talking about how he was going to go to a government building to get his food stamps on the 1st. I'm like, dude, do you not know that it's New Year's Day and it's most likely going to be closed because it's a government building? They don't think that far. You know, they don't use computers. Or if they do use computers, if the computer is updating, they automatically think, oh, somebody is hacking it. Somebody is always after me. Because hood rats are so used to dealing with criminals, crime, and untrustworthy people, they automatically assume everybody is like that. And that's another thing about hood rats is that they always project their insecurities and their nonsense onto other people. So... If a hood rat is a liar, she will always accuse you of being a liar. Always. And, I mean, they believe this stuff deep inside their soul. They act on it. And they try to protect themselves against make-believe lies that don't even exist. It only exists in in their brain. So, yeah, they, they, will, they will always label you the liar. They will always label you the thief, although they steal, like, six ways to Sunday. Hood rats never want to take responsibilities for their own actions. They're always blaming other people for their problems. So always remember that, man. So um, it's been about 11 minutes. Let me get into how to avoid and deal with a hood rat. If you read my book, I mean, I go into depth like the history of the hood rat. You know, I mean, everything you need to know about the hood rat. But this segment is going to be how to avoid hood rats and how to um, kind of deal with them. So the first way of dealing with a hood rat is to simply ignore them. Now, this can have an adverse effect because hood rats hate to be ignored. Hood rats are all about being loud, getting attention, being known. Like I said, they have no intellect, so they're always screaming out for help, always screaming out for help. They're the loudest one in the room, real ignorant, real messy, always causing drama and whatever, because that's how they get power by having people look at them. So you want to ignore a hood rat. Now, uh, either one or two things are going to happen. The hood rat is going to do things like heavy and come at you aggressively to get your attention desperately or they will simply leave you alone and go about the other way also when you ignore a hood rat it will basically soothe your mind so you don't become stressed getting involved in their antics they always want to pull you into their drama so they say words and phrases that is so condescending so um i can't think of the uh, sarcastic so negative so evil and the way they say it it really really gets on your nerves but they do that to bait you because they want any type of interaction man and some hood rats will actually try to bait you into an argument so they can have an excuse to hurt you because some hood rats you know they they got all this negative energy they don't know where it come from they can't intellectually break down why they feel bad so they just want to snap off and take it out on the entire world so if you have a hood rat like that in your vicinity, man, you got to be uh, very careful um, dealing with them. Ignoring them may make them want to just um, snap off on you. But it's going to always put you in a better position because you're being a mature man. And when you're the mature person, they're, they're going to just go at you more and more and more. But eventually they'll leave you alone because they will see that you're not on that. Another way to deal with hood rats or to avoid hood rats is to um is to stay away from them if you're living with a hood rat there's no change in that person no matter how hard you try or what you do i mean you can spend a couple of lifetimes trying to change and people just don't change especially hood rats they're stuck in their ways especially if they're smoking weed though the weed makes them mentally lazy well most of them and if they have mental disorders, they're probably getting some type of um, check from the government. So they feel comfortable with that Section 8 SSI food stamps and they never want to open their minds to anything. Never. They, they're all about tolerating things and just holding on to the little bit that they have. So um, you want to get away from that because there's no quote unquote winning with a hood rat. It's not going to happen. No matter how hard you try, you would end up in jail trying to change a hood rat. You know, um, in fact, <laughs> there's a guy from Jamaica who I know. He um, came to America when he was real young, so he has um, Jamaican values. Problem with this dude, he has a job. 
Um, but the problem is, is that he's attracted to hood rats simply because of the physical sexual gratification that he gets. He's in his late thirties. You could tell that he suffers from low self esteem. He's always smoking weed. He's always um, drinking liquor and things like this. And he feel like that the only way he can get a woman is to use those substances to attract them. And I keep telling him, what type of female do you think is going to be attracted to your weed and your liquor? Nobody but a but a, but a hood rat, man. And dealing with those hood rats, you're going to end up getting caught up. And sure enough, like clockwork, man, the hood rat called the cops on But he was already a stalker himself. But the hood rats called the cops on him. You know, he went to jail. He got out. There was an order of protection put against him and then he went back over there which was stupid on his part and asked the hood rat hey like hey man why you call the cops on me so she called the cops on him again it was upgraded to a felony and he ended up serving six months in the county fighting his case and i think he got off but yeah it's stuff like that because you got to understand the hood rats are intimate with the police they love the police they work with the police like it ain't nothing man they're always snitching because the police represent the intelligent man that a hood rat wants that's why a lot of hood rats man especially the productive ones the productive ones are the ones who are trying to get about the hood all you got to do is talk a little bit of intelligent game to them and i mean they'll become wide open to you and the police represent that intelligence or if it's a male hood rat he just want to get it off his chest just like the person in the movie theater talking during a the movie they want to attention they want to get stuff off their chest so when they get in front of the cops they just want to pour it all out and say yeah um cop and the cop is talking to them differently and intelligently and and you know they they have a certain value and respect for cops not all hood rats respect cops don't get it twisted but there are many um hood rats who 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 do and that's why they be snitching you know so yeah hood rats are very intimate so you need to just stay away from people like that because is it's, it's only going to make your life worse so if you are around a hood rat or you're living with one man you you need to disassociate yourself with that person by any means necessary straight up man um, another way of dealing with hood rats is to simply stay calm. See, hood rats are always running on pure emotions. Just like the bipolar disease and the, the personality disorders, they're always going up and down, up and down, man. They always experience happiness, sadness, uh, frustration, madness. They want stuff to go their way. So, I mean, these people are going through emotional roller coasters every day, which is why a lot of hood rats develop aneurysms. They have um, high blood pressure. They um, suffer all type of, you know, internal diseases and whatever because they're always going through these emotional up and downs. So you always have to stay calm. Stay calm. Don't stay calm in a sarcastic way like, like, yeah, you want to do what you do? No, just stay calm. Treat it with respect, right? Treat it with respect. Although hood rats don't deserve respect, but treat it with respect and, um, you know, just, just calmly deal with her. That's very important. That's going to throw the hood rat for a loop. And eventually they know that, you know, you ain't really the type of dude to come reckless at. Another thing about dealing with hood rats is you want to show them not tell them but show them that you have options meaning if you live with a hood rat and she feel like or he feel like they can control you or they got a mental thing on your brain because you know one thing about hood rats they always try to um be aggressive with you the males and the females they always want to tell you just little stuff they could be like get that off the floor or they'll be like fix that shade over there they say little stuff like that to get you to do it because they want control over your brain because that's the only way they feel powerful. They don't know why they feel like that. They feel like that because they're insecure. They don't know nothing and that's all they rely on. So they will say these little nitpicky stuff at you to get control over you. So, and if they know that you have nowhere else to go, oh, the hood rat is always going to take them out. You give them an inch, they're going to they gonna go far beyond that. So it's very important for you to show the hood rat like I don't need you straight up I don't need to be here don't say it show meaning that you leave anytime you want 
whatever. Now, if they start contacting you or they start putting on this cry fit, fake cry fit, and then you know that you got them. And then when you come around the hood right again, they normally respect you. So you always got to have options. Another way you can get respect from hood rats is simply by being a gangster. I don't suggest you do that because, you know, <laughs> hood rats know who they can pull it with. They pull it with lames and people with good hearts and whatever because they know that that person ain't going to do nothing. To a certain degree, hood rats nitpick at you simply because they want you to put them in their place. They want you to um, verbally check them and they want you to be the, the bigger man or the bigger woman. That's why they do it. They want some type of um, response from you. Don't, don't, don't. Um, and sometimes you might got to give them that response, man. You know, you might have to become a gangster. I don't suggest you do that because just getting into that mindset and going back and forth with them is going to create a whole world of trouble for the both of y'all in, in the long run. And it's really, really not worth it. Dealing with the cops, dealing with, with her brothers or other hood dudes who see this. It's just really not worth it, man. It really ain't so. But, yeah, there's some dudes who gangster up and who are tough and who rats wouldn't think twice about crossing them simply because they are scared of this person. Okay. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to cover more in the book and really, really break down um, the mindset of a hood rat. So this is just um, one video um, covering what I think about hood rats. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, avoid those hood rats by any means necessary. You can tell who they are by the things they eat. Oodles and noodles. <laughs> Oodles and noodles. They drink Sunny D. They love Kool Aid. Um, they 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 never shop. So you you would never see a hood rat shop at Whole Foods. They don't know the difference between organic and regular food. They think it ain't no different. Um, they don't know anything. They rarely read books. The only book they might read is like the Bible or that's about it. Um, schooling, they'll pretend to go to school, take an algebra class or some, and, you know, drop out or simply go to school for the money because you get the little financial aid check when you go to a community college. So, you know, you and also they get a lot of money from the government in scholarships because, you know, hood rats are always pregnant and young pregnant females um, actually get a lot of scholarships to go to college so they might go to college temporarily but they ain't gonna do nothing significant with it you always see hood rats going to those for-profit school that advertise on TV like hey you're sitting at home doing nothing how about you come to the school hood rat be watching more be like yeah I wanna come to that school and they will go not knowing that they're getting ripped off not knowing that this school is probably going to get shut down two years later. They rarely do research. They believe anything anybody with authority tell them. That's why they always snitch into the cops. Because they believe they're going to get themselves out if they keep it real and stay honest and whatever. Which you should keep your mouth shut when you're in front of the cops. Um, yeah, so, you know, yeah. like I said, I can go on and on forever about hood rats. So... But um, as I said earlier, this is not to put down young black women. It's just that when you hear the word hood rat, you automatically think young black women. But as I said earlier, this can be applied to um, young black dudes. It can be applied to like redneck white dudes, um, low income trailer park female or white females, Hispanic shorties who live in a crib with like nine people in a poverty stricken area. Um, shoot, even Asian chicks who try to pretend to be ghetto and whatever. Yeah, so, but I'm going to go into all of that in detail in the book in the description below. If you don't see it below, come and check back in about a couple of months and I should be done with the book and you'll see the link below. All right, so peace, man. And stay away from those little rats for real, for real.